What is it about Carbon Arc that gives you an opportunity and uh, the solution that gives your customers uh, an advantage and help in this uh, new model of yours? It's easier to buy a house or a car in the United States than it is to buy a data set. And then you don't need an engineer to drive your car. So fundamentally, you've already taken the total addressable market on the consumer side to 500 or so buyers uh, above $2 million in the United States. So you've got a really sort of balkanized end-to-end -end for supply and demand um, around data. And so for all the data that exists in the world, very little of it actually makes it into the hands of the decision makers. Uh, I left uh, Point72 at the end of 2020 and started Carbon Arc with the idea that supply and demand were too far apart. The ability to pay and willingness to pay for data were the biggest drivers of data liquidity. And if you could embed and engage use case development further back into the process and deliver actionable insight uh, to customers at scale and have them pay for what they consume, you actually can transform how data gets bought and sold in the world. And so started building that in 21, and it's, it's certainly a very difficult sort of category enhancement that we're trying to do. But the Gen AI moment has been sort of a really interesting flashpoint um, that's sort of brought to light a lot of the problems in the data market. They were largely sort of in place and known because of, you know, sort of uh, the financial services firms could see the problem, but a lot of other people couldn't. And so there's a lot going on in the space.